Hey everybody, welcome back to The Manny Maniac. Today I am doing uh, my mom's nails in quarantine, the only person I can get my hands on. Haha. -ha. Um, I am doing a set of dip powder nails on her. So this is using um, Sparkle & Co. and um, their Crystal Clear uh, dip powder as well as London Blue Dreams, which is off of their secret menu, which is available to everyone, but secret menu, a lot of, um, you know, custom colors that they've had requested over uh, time that get put into the, into the line. So um, lots of really fun colors and a little bit of a departure for my mom, that blue color, but it's so pretty. Um, so here you can see I'm just going in. Uh, she does already have a kind of base of clear that I um, filed off her last set that I did last week. I always put a base of clear underneath. Um, because it protects the nail, especially when the colors are highly pigmented. And also, um, the glitter can be really hard to file off right from the natural nail. Um, I try not to soak people's nails in acrylic if I can help it. Um, I just, I don't like it. It dries out the nail. It's just not good. So, um, you know, sometimes it's necessary, and we probably will soak it off after we take this set off to put on her next, um, you know, every couple times, but just saving yourself from soaking in acetone every single time. Um, so I'm just putting another layer of clear down and um, giving that a nice base layer so that I can add in the new color. So I'm just making sure to get those um, edges near the cuticle and whatnot. Um, she did have some little areas that were lifting, so I, you know, filed those off, and then I'm just putting over a, a nice base. So I am just kind of, you can see, I kind of pause for a minute and let it um, sit, and just checking to see how it came out. So I am going to go ahead and Grab my duster brush and just dust off any of the excess powder that didn't soak into the base. Um, and then you can see here uh, on that side, um, it dried too quickly for the powder to adhere. So I'm just going back and putting just a little bit uh, on there with some more of the clear powder so it's completely covered. Um, it's one thing about using the um, dip liquids um, that I dislike. They are very strong and they work really well. Um, but the resin uh, that is in the base bond, which is just basically a glue, it does dry fairly quickly. It doesn't really give you a lot of working time. Um, I have used gel a lot of the times in the past. Um, just because it does give you a little bit more time. And I'll link a video up in the top corner there so you guys can see how to apply dip powder with gel. But I'm just putting on this first layer, um, this layer of color here, so you can see I did an even uh, coat all the way from the cuticle to the free edge, leaving just a little bit of space. Um, I did wipe my brush before I put it back into the um, bottle, and that's just because... Even though I did dust off this clear coat, um, there is still some some dust uh, on there because I didn't clean them, clean them. Um, so you want to just be be wary of that and uh, putting those uh, brushes back into the bottle after you've touched it to any kind of powder because it can mess up your your base bond. So just going to continue that through all the nails. There is a very fine balance here. You can see I'm kind of wiggling my brush to get it to go where I want it to go. And I'm trying to uh, keep the layers fairly thin because I don't want to bulk up the nail a ton. 
Um, but at the same time, you do have to work fairly quickly because, as I mentioned, that base bond does dry uh, pretty quickly. So you want to, um, you know, make sure that you go straight in with the powder as quickly as you can. And I do kind of wait a second before I tap that off. Um, you know, I left the other nails and then I'm going to go back and tap them off. And that just gives the powder time to really soak into the resin, any of it that's going to. And then I'll grab my duster brush and just dust off any of the excess powder that is left. And I am checking the nails to make sure my coverage is good. Um, you know, you don't want to get too close to the cuticles or sidewalls, but you do want to make sure that you have uh, good coverage so it looks, um, you know, it looks uniform around the edges. So here you can see I'm just going back and I'm going to just fill in any of the little spots that I may have, um, may have missed either when I put the base bond on or um, may have dried before I got the powder to, um, to stick to it. So. And I'm not really worried about, you know, getting the base bond onto um, the area that already has powder because I am going to file these um, before we put the top coat on. Um, you can use a buffer or a, a file just to smooth them out. Um, it's pretty rare that I get a dip application without having to file just because things like this do um, do happen where it, you know, it dries too fast and I didn't get the, enough powder or things like that. So, um, you know, I do try and kind of feather it into the area that has it already, but I'm not really too worried about it because I, as I mentioned, I am going to, I am going to go back and file them. So just touching up any spots that need a little bit more coverage. And again, just dusting off with my duster brush to make sure I've gotten any of the loose powder off of there. Okay, so now I'm just going in with a buffing block and I'm just going to buff smooth um, the top. Um, I did not put a clear coat on here. Um, I do on a lot of my sets, um, especially anything with glitter. Um, this actually, this color, um, London uh, Blue Dreams from Sparkle & Co. does not, it has the flakies, the iridescent flakes in it. So it's not actually a, a glitter color. And you'll see once you see the final uh, look and what color it, what it looks like. Um, it has the flakes in it and those won't scratch. Um, you have to be really careful with glitter because if you do file over a color glitter, a lot of times the color scratches off and then it just looks silver and it can really mess up um, the look that you were going for. So um, this time we didn't really need it and I didn't want to put any more thickness than I really needed. So I'm just going through now with the buffing block and making sure all of my um, cuticles and sidewalls are nice and um, tight so that they're, um, you know, faded in, not any hard edges. If you are um, new to dip, I do have a 
um, beginner's tutorial. I'll put a card up in the um, top corner here so you can link to that video. It's kind of a, a lot more step-by-step in-depth instructions on how to do a dip. Okay, so I'm just um, going in with a dry manicure brush. Um, I use the harder bristle brush at this point to um, just make sure I get off any dust filings and any other um, residue or anything like that, powder that may be left even around the side walls and cuticle area. Um, and I am going to go in with the second coat of Solidify. And I apologize, I don't think I put the first coat, um, I didn't record it when I put the first coat on. Um, so obviously you use the base bond to put on the powder. You're gonna put a coat of Solidify, uh, which is step number three in the Sparkle & Co. Um, and then you're going to um, file and then put a second coat of Solidify, which is what I just did. And now we're going to go in with our glossy coat and sparkling co has recently um, revamped their glossy so it's called glossy 2.0 and it is phenomenal um, i absolutely love it so i'm just going ahead and putting in um, on the glossy coat on top here and you can see i'm doing that uh, doing my best to do it in three strokes so uh, for each nail i'm getting a thin even coat um, the glossy coat we are going to do twice, just like the solidify, except this time we're going to do them more or less one right after the other. So um, I'm going to go through here and you can see I've by the time I get to the fifth nail, the next one is ready to go. Um, so I am putting that second glossy coat on there and you can just see it is so beautiful and shiny. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're all cleaned up. I was doing both her hands at the same time. Um, the thing I love about the dip powder system is that it's just dry after a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some cuticle oil and um, the she's gonna be all done. So thanks so much for joining and watching this uh, dip powder set today. Um, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content. Come on over to Instagram and find me, the underscore Manny underscore Maniac. And um, thanks again for being here today. We'll catch you next time on The Manny Maniac.